Welcome to this video on Italy's economic miracle. Italy's GDP has grown by 3.8 percent since 2019, the year before the outbreak of the coronavirus. Growth in this period is more than twice as high as in France and five times as high as in Germany. Italy has done unexpectedly well. This unusually strong growth has a lot to do with its loose fiscal policy. In the course of the coronavirus crisis, the budget deficit widened from a moderate 1.5% of GDP to a good 9% of GDP. Since then, the budget deficit has barely decreased. Added to this are the non-repayable grants from the European Union Recovery Fund, which corresponds to over 3% of GDP. A significant part of the budget deficit has financed a so-called super bonus. It granted homeowners a tax credit of 110% of the cost of energy efficient refurbishment of their homes. This generous subsidy has caused housing construction to skyrocket by 70%. Nearly two-thirds of the 3.8% economic growth recorded since 2019 is due to this effect. The money from the European Union Recovery Fund will dry up by 2027 at the latest. Soon or later Italy will have to reduce its high budget deficits if doubts are not to arise about the long-term sustainability of its already very high national debt of 140% of GDP. The end of loose fiscal policy is likely to put an end to Italy's strong economic growth as the last few years have not been used for structural reforms. 